So plastics, a boon or a curse? So far we are discussing about different material. We have seen how to make a paper. Paper can be recycled. And even though the paper is thrown, it is decomposable. It mixes with the soil. But whereas with the plastic, it is a problem. Plastic cannot decompose easily. It takes thousands of years to get mixed up with the soil. So we should be very careful in handling plastic. Plastic, it plays a major role in our life today. Whatsoever the item you purchase, it will be made of plastic or at least some parts of it are made out of plastic. You buy a car, you buy a bike, you buy a computer, you buy a laptop, mobile phone, kitchenware, furniture, furniture, your bed, whatsoever you buy, you will be finding certain parts of it are made out of plastic. Many of the things are completely made of plastic, right? So we cannot avoid plastic. But the thing is that there are certain things to be taken proper care. Otherwise, plastic, it's causing a very big problem and nuisance. See, first thing is proper disposal of plastic is very, very important. Plastic cannot be thrown in the garbage. It should be disposed for recycle. Plastics, they are of different types. Depending upon the type, it will be graded and recycled by the people who recycle it. So when you throw the dust, it should be kept separately. At least you should sell it to the recycling centers. Otherwise, certain people will be coming to your houses to buy the old plastic and metal. So you can sell to them, not for the profit, for the sake of environment. So they will take it for the recycling. Improper disposal of plastic items is a very big problem. People are not aware of it. Even though we know that we don't do it, we don't take the responsibility because no one is questioning us. No one is putting a fine on us. Just we will throw that. For every item we buy the item and we, we want a carry bag, polythene cover. So likewise from market you bring 10 to 20 covers a day. See that in 30 days how many covers you are bringing. Hundreds of carry bags you are bringing home and throwing all of them in the garbage. Right? So plastic can be used extensively, but it should be properly disposed. Otherwise, it causes so many environmental problems. Second thing is packing food items. It is not very safe to pack the food items in all kinds of plastic. So there is a special kind of plastic which is meant for suitable for packing the food items. But when you buy some food items outside, they may be putting in some cover. You may be buying some food item at a restaurant or a curry point, there they will put the items in a plastic cover. But you don't know whether the plastic is suitable to the food item or not. Sometimes very hot food items are packed in plastic. So this hot food item may react with the plastic in the container. So the plastic, it may be going to the food, you may be eating and you may be suffering with diseases. So food grade plastic is to be used to store the food and there also proper temperature has to be maintained. You cannot put hot items, you cannot pack hot items in the plastic bags, right? So the suitable food grade plastic and virgin plastic should be used to pack the food, but that is not followed everywhere. Who is checking that? So food packing is a major issue. So when the food is packed in plastic, so these things must be taken care. And third thing is the plastic waste when it is collected a lot. So they start burning it sometimes. It is very hard to dispose that, very difficult. So in such cases they are putting fire, right? Which is not at all advisable. It releases a lot of toxic gases into the atmosphere when plastic is burnt. It pollutes the air a lot. A lot of damage happens to the environment. So plastic should not be burnt at any cost. Another problem with the plastic is choking of drains. The plastic rags, plastic covers, plastic bottles, plastic items are thrown in the drainages. So as they are carrying and at some points they choke the canals and drainages, the water will be overflowing. You see that many of the people throwing their plastic items in the beaches, all this is collected in the sea. Many of the seas are polluted by plastic items. So many of the sea animals are eating the plastic items and they are getting they are dying because of the pollution, water pollution by plastic, even soil. Many of the water bodies are polluted because we are throwing it. It's a, see such an ignorance and such a nonsensical thing that people are doing. How irresponsible the people are behaving. Most of the people they know, 
that the plastic should not be thrown like that. It is not because of the illiteracy, because due to the advancement in technology, people are aware of so many things. How to use a smartphone, everybody know that. But we do not a basic thing that the plastic should not be thrown in the dust or garbage. It should be recycled. So, every citizen must be responsible. You can enjoy the benefits of plastic at the same time, you should be responsible while disposing it properly. And finally, it causes all kind of pollution. If plastic is burnt, it causes air pollution. If plastic is thrown in water, water pollution. If it is thrown in the garbage and a landfill, soil pollution. It can cause any kind of pollution, right? So, the care should be taken while using the plastic. So, now let us see the different points that help us in the right way of dealing with garbage. First, you see that you put your efforts in reducing the garbage. Right. So, what are the right ways of dealing with that? First thing is minimum use of plastic. The uses of plastic should be reduced. Do not buy and carry the things in carry bags. Carry your own cloth bag. So, you can keep all the things in that. So, you will be contributing for that. Uses of paper or cloth bags. Better use paper bags or cloth bags instead of plastic. No plastic for food. Never ever store the food items in plastic covers because you do not know the grade of the plastic, what sort of plastic it is. So, it may cause so many health problems. So, never keep the food items in plastic bags. Better you keep them in metal containers or earthenware which is safe for the food storage. And next proper disposal. Plastic should be properly disposed. Always keep the plastic separate from other garbage. Either you sell it to a scrap vendor who buy the scrap otherwise the garbage people they take the dry uh, plastic kind of waste separately you give them it separately no burning of plastic plastic should not be burnt it produces toxic gases which may cause diseases like cancer and they are very dangerous right so never ever burn plastic waste it should be properly disposed it should be recycled use vermicompost you encourage the usage of vermicompost instead of fertilizers. So, by that the waste, the garbage, decomposable waste can be properly utilized. Recycling paper. You encourage recycling paper. You buy recycled paper. So, by that the paper is not wasted. So, you are saving the paper in the sense you are saving the trees and you are contributing for a good environment. And judicious use of paper. See, you have a paper in your hand. So, if you don't know, don't know the use of the paper, say just you think it is a waste paper, just don't throw it. You can use the paper, you can save it, you can write it on the paper. If you write one side of the paper, the other side also can be used. You see many of the children, they will open their book, they write on one side of the paper, just they throw the paper out. The second side can be used. Right. Better you write small letters. So, by that more work can be done. If you have a rough work, do not use so many papers. Just you take a slate where you can write and rub it. You can use a slate for rough work. So, judicious use, it is very, very important. Somebody may laugh at you. Why are you writing like that? Why are you writing so many answers in one paper? That means you are saving the paper. You are contributing your efforts. You are putting efforts to save the yet from the hazards of environment, issues of environment. So, that is the judicious use of paper. The reuse of things. You can put your creativity on. You can make so many useful, wonderful things with the waste that you find around. It is no matter like buying a new thing. For example, you have a broken bucket in your house. It is broken. You can use the broken bucket. You can make it as a flower pot. You can put some mud and you can grow a plant. Somebody may tell you why are you using that bucket, you can go and get a plastic flower pot, you can buy it, which looks good, why this bucket is used, right? So here you take the option of using the bucket, you are reusing it, you are contributing for the welfare of the earth, you are not using another plastic tub, that means you are not taking the share of making one plastic tub, you are using the bucket again. Right. So, many of the plastic items can be reused. 
they have a very good durability they work for years you need not throw them if you have 2 liter water bottles you can cut and you can grow some plants you can grow plants in the 2 liter water bottle at least some 5 to 10 years see that see all the possibilities look for all the possibilities in which we can reuse the items so we will save a lot we will contribute a lot you yourself contribute your part for a sustainable environment if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus